once again. What's up, Tsunami Faithful? My name is Daniel Mhoko, also known as Anime Savior, and today I'm hanging out with Jason and say your, say all your names again. Joseph Cho, Takashi Sano, director, and Takanari Maeda, who's a producer of Pretty Morty DM. All right, thank you. <laughs> How's your, how's your Comic Con been so far? Busy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work. Good to see you back, <laughs> off, back, back, back on like this. Yeah. yeah, the band, the pandemic has been nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's silly. It's the first time for some of the directors to come to Comic Con. Like yeah. Hope you like it here. I've been, li- been living in San Diego my whole life, so. Ah, it's fun. So Lived around my whole life and I'm <laughs> still pretty shocked at how big Comic Con is. Yeah. So uh we just had the panel uh for the Rick and Morty anime and now uh, during the midst of the pandemic you guys uh showed a five Rick and Morty anime shorts on Toonami, which culminated into a What's now a full-fledged anime series? Uh, right. Tell, give us a little bit into the, what made you decide to well, make this anime. Just, just to clarify the question, um, we did three as a company. So he and I, three. Mm-hmm. He did two of that, and then he did all five. <laughs> so, so he needs to he needs to probably talk yeah, about it, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously, at Adult Swim, we uh, for a long time would do original animations where we would in- reinterpret our shows and characters just because we thought it was fun for little IDs and bumps and things. Mm-hmm. Um, where the anime idea came came in was we, we just were thinking about different different people to collaborate with internationally and so uh, I had the idea of approaching a couple different people to do anime shorts. So some of them were the Rick and Morty Samurai and Shogun folks um, and then I came to Joseph and said hey you know, we want to make a couple of these shorts. Do you know anybody? Do you know any Japanese directors who like Rick and Morty, um, and who might be interested in this? And amazingly, he was already working on Tower of God with uh, Sano, and he said, "I don't know. I, you know what? I, I've talked to Sano, and he's a huge Rick and Morty fan." <laughs> so it was sort of just—it it was just a confluence of events and just great luck. And so we said, "Okay, let's go ahead and." And commission one from Sano, and that one did so well, 15 million views within a month, that we said, let's do another one, if he's game for another one, and we found out he was. And really from there, the idea opened up to, wow, we could maybe do a series here, because there's enough interest in these shorts. And and really, after that, it hung on Sano being able to, could you wrap your head around an idea for a series, you know? Um, and that's kind of how we ended up where we are. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> that's the story. Yeah. Now, now, while there is some crossover historically, well, at least from what I've seen, uh, the anime and anime comedy sides of both Adult Swim and Toonami have uh, mainly been different audiences, so to speak, at least uh, especially when regards to ratings. Uh, how do you plan on bridging this gap, so to speak, with this, trying to, trying to, trying to please both crowds with this, with this anime? So believe it or not, I'll, I'll let Sano talk about his approach to this, a Western IP and, and making it as an anime. But believe it or not, what research tells us on Adult Swim is that this is not a joke stat. 95% of people who watch Rick and Morty on Adult Swim also watch Toonami. At least some at some point have watched Toonami. So there's actually way more of a crossover than I think anyone thinks. Because Rick and Morty is a massive global hit on its own that goes far beyond um, even Adult Swim globally. I think people don't necessarily think of it as like, oh, well, if you watch anime, you probably watch Rick and Morty because they seem like very distinct audiences. But they're actually not as distinct as people think they are, at least on Adult Swim. So if you're watching Adult Swim, you're probably watching Rick and Morty and Toonami, just most of them. So knowing that allowed us to have the freedom of of not being worried that, oh, this anime is not going to appeal to a huge segment of the audience. That said, there's still the challenge of adapting something that's fundamentally a Western IP into anime, and I think Sano should speak to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, 
本,本家のリッカーのモンキーと今回の。アニメうん、あああああああああああえっ、ー、と本家のリッカーノモーティ自体がまず面白いのでその自分の好きなところを自分の中で消化してですねバラバラに崩してで自分が今までやってきたアニメーションの作り方に作り直してかつ世界観は変えずに、えー、やるってことですかね。うん、あの本家のリッカノモーティーからそのままあの移植するんじゃなくてキャラクターとか世界観を一遍全部バラしてパーツに分けてそれを、うん、今まで自分がやってきた作り方に合わせて組み直すっていうのは言葉でうまく説明できないのでそういう感じですかね。Well, I mean, in terms of like a general question of anime versus, you know,、um, you know the, how the Toonami Adult Swim gets you know,、um, connected, I think for, creative, for him, creatively, specifically for this project,、um, you know, the, the, the flagship franchise is so well done and he, 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 loves, it, he loves it a lot. Um, so, you know, there's that framework that's been given, you know, given to him.、Um, but rather than try to copy, you know, what was done to try to appeal to the same audience, he would basically break down each character, like basically take out each character, separate them all, like the world that they're in, like each character, the relationship. And he would have to kind of digest all that、um, to see, okay, how do, we, how do I put this back together in a different puzzle to show it in an interesting way that reflects the experience and,、um, And, and what he learned in his career, of, you know, decades long career in, in Japanese anime industry. So I think,、um, so, you know, for him, the bridging aspect sort of happened in that sense, but it wasn't consciously or like necessarily about trying to redo this thing, you know,、um, redo this thing in a, in a flagship franchise way to try to connect with the audience. Um, so, so,、um, but it wasn't like a let's set out to make a complete Japanese anime either. Um, um, it, was, it was somewhere in between where he was trying to strike the right balance、um, with what he, what he loved about the franchise. Well, the,、um, well more recently in the, this decade and probably the last is、uh, we've been seeing a lot more、uh, cooperation between、uh, Japanese.、Uh, Creators and Western creators,、uh, for, for many new original productions you've been making, as well as、mm. a lot of your competitors.、Mm -hmm. uh, but on the other hand, a lot of these、uh, otaku or weird movies are not、mm -hmm. quite <laughs> res resistant to,、mm -hmm. to uh, Western and Eastern co cooperation, saying that anime should be exclusively for the Japanese,、mm -hmm. made for the Japanese,、mm -hmm. and that Western or Western audience are largely irrelevant. I mean, so I think I'll say a couple things. The first thing is, I actually think that resistance is smaller than people think. I think it is a very, very vocal group of people, but they are still in the minority. That's number one. Number two, I think that that, that comes from a place of. Thinking that anime feels like, for a lot of people, especially in other cultures, finding anime is like unlocking a door that they didn't know existed. It feels like you're settling into another world in a way that few other mediums do. And I think they get very protective of it. And they feel like one of the reasons they like it is because it feels so different from their daily experience. And I'm talking specifically about American otaku. It feels so different from their daily experience that they almost get to a point where they can fetishize it, the Japanese ness of it. And I think that actually does it a disservice and doesn't really fully understand these artists as human beings. I also know that Japanese people don't care at all about that kind of thing. Like, there is not that protective, like, we want to keep Americans out.、Um, For Japanese fans, for the most part, and definitely not for creators. They like seeing new challenges. That's how I feel as, a,、mm. as an American creator. 
I feel like anime is a broad enough tent that it can hold all kinds of shows. That includes very, very Japanese productions that feel like they could have come out of nowhere but Japan. That also includes projects like ours or the Terminator series that are Western, that Western IP that are being reinterpreted through anime that are the cultural product of both places. I think there's room under the tent for all of it. Mm -hmm. And the only reason to argue that there isn't is if you're insecure in some way, shape, or form <laughs> about anime and it being an art form, you know. And look, whatever we, whatever I do in anime or any Westerner, anime as an art form is not endangered by any of that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's still going to be plenty of Japanese-only titles for everybody to engage with. We're not pushing things in any larger direction. We've just got a lane that we're working in that I think is interesting. There's people that don't think it's interesting, and that's okay with me, but it doesn't say anything larger about anime. That's my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I appreciate, I think, a lot of people being, I mean, it's, it's nice, you know, for people to be protective of a you know, genre that they love, you know, but the problem is, they tend to pigeonhole anime into whatever they like, but like you just said, it's an art form. It's a, it's a, it's, it can be anything. I mean, I mean, if you really look in the history of anime, look for kids, the fantasy, the, the hero, action, porn, horror, right? If there's anything, right? Like you can do anything with it. It's, it's, it's like a film. You know, it's, a, it's a format, um, and 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 artists do what they want to express with it. Now, um, you know. Certain fans are like kind of married to a certain genre, and then the way they see it is that's anime. But I mean, just speaking of that, I mean, look, you know, you know, I worked on Animatrix um, back when I was at Warner. So what is that, right? Matrix itself was inspired by Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell, in, in itself, by was inspired by you know, Blade, uh, Runner. Blade Runner. So you know, it's same with Akira, right? So a lot of these titles have this kind of you know track record where. Where, you know, where artists kind of influence each other, like, you know, both sides of the ocean. Mm -hmm. and, and there are different expressions and depends on what people like to do. So take this, you know, project, for example. It's, you know, it's a title, even though it's very Western, you know, the flagship franchise. He, as a Japanese animator, um, loves it. He wants to interpret it through his lens, and, and here's the answer that we have, you know, for that. And so um, hopefully people will enjoy it. I think shorts were certainly... Um, loved, I think, by a lot of people, and um, and but so you know, we just I think we're just you know I'm just trying to I'm just hoping because you know I, I myself is a foreigner working in Japan, you know, creating this anime, and I, and I do I do a whole bunch of different things, and you know and and same with him, same with Jason, so um, so it's really it's 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 like I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions because you know you ask different people about what anime is, they have a different definition, <laughs> but it's really not just one thing. Uh, you know, it's all. Yeah. Yeah. Got one more question. Mm -hmm. we got time for one question. Mm -hmm. So, what should fans look forward to with this anime? Should, uh, like, this is an anime, well, this is called Rick and Morty the anime, but some, mm -hmm. but some fans, and perhaps you guys yourself, would say this is an anime in a regular sense. What should we do? What do you think we should look forward to with this mm -hmm. upcoming anime? For, for, for this project? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I always ask Sano. Mm. うん、<笑> アメリカのアニメーションとは多分全く違います。で、えっと、特に日本 アメリカのアニメーションの作り方とは根本的に違うと思うんですよね。うん。そこそこはあの違いとして楽しんでもらったら、あ、日本のアニメってリミテッドアニメとして進化した。それの延長で今回のもう当然作ってあるんで、アメ
日本のアニメの作り方の動きの面白さ良さっていうのはあると思うんでそれを楽しんでもらいたいです。So, um, you know, the, the, what's probably were, like, unique about this project as anime,、um, you know, the way to be named it, is、uh, um, he would think it would be interesting for the fans to appreciate is,、uh, the movements and actual animation, because it moves at a different rhythm, because、um, you know, Japanese. Animation have been、uh, limited animation, and whereas in the West it's more full animation. So the movements is different, timing is different, cadence is different, even explosion, robots, how they move, how, they, how people walk, how people do action, and how that's ex- expressed on screen is very, very different.、Um, so that's, one, that's probably one thing that stands out um, um, you know, and, and unique from、um, the flagship franchise that you would see.、Um, or, uh, so, Hopefully, you know, that's something that, that, that new, the audience can find interesting and fun、um, for people who are not used to Japanese anime. But for people who love Japanese anime, it'll be something very familiar to them. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say before we head out? We hope you enjoy it. Watch, please!、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really hope it, it,、yeah. it works whether you're a big fan of Rick and Morty or not. <laughs> yeah. I'm still rather new to this brand, the Rick and Morty franchip, but personally, I'm, hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll, I'm looking forward to it.、Yep. Hopefully, we'll see more from you guys. Good. Spread the word for us.、Yeah. Thank so, you.、Uh, yep. Basically,、uh, th- thanks for, th- on behalf of the Toonami Faithful and my colleagues at Toonami Squad, thanks for talking with me, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you see so much. You、yep. See you next time. Yep. See you next time. Yeah, appreciate it. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.